Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. So today it's going to be a four card oracle you pick with the dyadic cross of finish. Four cards, you pick, yes, no, and then I'll do a dyadic cross at the end. So this is the Revival Art Tarot by Turaco. Turaco or Turacho? I'm not sure, Studios. Uh, this is a deck that comes to me somehow, I think from Russia via Norway. But um, they're beautiful cards. They were a little pricey, and um, but I love to use them. They're lots of art. The guidebook that comes with them, Revival Art Guidebook, is, um, you know, leaves a lot to be desired. You know, you can't really read it. It's tiny, tiny print. But on the uh, upside, there's nothing in here that's particularly um, earth-shattering as far as how to use the cards for divination. So, you know, no loss. But it's a bad uh, guidebook. However, the cards are just amazing. And uh, the art goes right to the edge on these cards. They're really beautiful, and I love using them. And, uh, you know, I do this to sort of, sort of mix up the cards and to give folks who don't uh, purchase tarot cards or look at uh, full decks of tarot cards very often the chance to see, you know, more of what the deck looks like. Otherwise, you just kind of see the first few, uh, the first, the only the cards that are uh, dealt or that are turned over. So there you go. Uh, that's this uh, Taracho Revival Art Studio uh, deck. And I think they're beautiful, and I love using them. Um, they are pretty, pretty cool. Okay, so this is going to be a four-card. You pick. One, two, three, four card. You pick. Yes, no answers. And then, uh, so that's the oracle part. And then we'll do the dyadic cross uh, at the end. Let me shuffle these another way, because this isn't working that well. So, four card oracle, and you pick. Um, take this time now just to kind of clear your mind um, and just uh, kind of try to bring front uh, what it is that you want to, um, to get an answer to or an opinion on or, or what is it to, that uh, is going to matter to you in this pick. You can pick one card, two cards, three cards, four cards, no cards. <laughs> you just watch and see how they come out. But um, take a deep breath. Really does a lot for me too. And we'll take four cards to get started. Okay. Is that one? That's two. That's fine. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now we'll put these here and you can decide which one is yours. Number one, number two, or number three, or number four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You know, you can stop the tape right here if you just need a minute or you need to go get a glass of water or sneeze or whatever it might be. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now we'll talk about them and see what we have here. Usually they're yes, no, or maybe. Okay, so this is the um, Page of Swords. You know, for me, the Page of Swords is a messenger. He's bringing something to court. He's saying, listen, hey, I've got this, and uh, and swords are uh, truth and justice for me and rules. He says, listen, I've got this, and uh, maybe you can do something with it. So the Page of Swords is the beginnings of a uh, truth, a justice, a rule, uh, something that's come up. And uh, that is a yes card. If you chose number two, then we've got Judgment. This is a big yes card. And uh, judgment is for for me. Uh, really, you're you're at the point where say this is how this is going to be. This is the end of it. This is the the uh, end of a cycle, and um, and this is a positive card for me. That's a yes card. Chose number three. Then we've got the four of cups. And the four of cups. This is a yes card for me. And it's sort of holding on uh, to what you got, cherishing uh, what's important to you. Uh, wanting to kind of savor in it. Uh, but, um, you know, you can move on from that. But uh, that's a big yes card if you got number three. And number four, then, is a, the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands is clearly a yes card. Six of Wands are celebrations. You know, Wands are action, movement, power, motion, uh, ideas, and uh, uh, planning. And uh, so this Six of Wands is a big celebration of that planning. It's a great big yes card. So we'll turn three of these over and then start the dyadic cross with this first one right here, which is the Page of Swords. Thank you. 
So a great big um, uh, beginnings of uh, an idea. I'm gonna need to flush that out. Let's see what we've got here. Clumsy shuffling today. I don't know why, but I'm not always clumsy. Let's cut them, and then uh, we'll take out five cards to finish this diet across. And this will be one, two, three, four, and down here five. Yep. Okay. Put these to rest. Well, these cards. And see what we've got here. So we're going to look for the challenger to this page of swords, this kind of uh, idea or this messenger of some truth, of some rule, some justice. Um, the challenge to that then is going to be the queen of coins. So the queen is our, you know, reactionary coins are value and the uh, of the earth. So um, the challenge to uh, this uh, beginnings. Of, of a, a rule or a plan or a truth here are the is this uh, large dose of, of, of value. Hmm. The base of this reading then is going to be the Empress. The Empress is all fruitful. She's mother. She's almost mother Mother Earth, and she has all the knowledge and the um, fortitude to 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 bring her brood to full you know fruition. So the Empress is a terrific base of this reading. Okay, and then for the past of this reading, we've got a Queen of Cups. Wow. So the Queen of Cups is lots of emotion. I mean, really passionate. Uh, so we, we come into this uh, issue uh, of a truth or of a rule um, in the company, and as opposed to this Queen of, of Value, hmm, really weighing the value and the importance of this, we have everything we need to get this done in abundance. And in the past of the reading, with the Queen of Cups, you want to think there's a huge dose of compassion there. Then in the sky, ah, the devil. So that's the problem, is uh, you can aim for the sky, but you've got to watch out for those uh, obvious temptations that are going to be in your eye with all this value and all this passion and all of this abundance. Uh, yeah, that's why you need the rule to begin with. And then the uh, outcome, the likely outcome, is going to be the Five of Wands, which is disharmony. Um, and you can see, oh, it's funny, I would say disharmony uh, with this uh, fellow blowing the horn, the gold covering her, her ears, and he is uh, squawking something at her. So, yeah, disharmony is probably a good description here. So, even though it's a yes, um, you know, it doesn't always mean it's, the, um, it's, it's what you want to hear. There you go. Okay. So, that's the number one card. He's back in the pack. Get on to the second one. I'm a little distracted today. I wonder if that's noticeable. Probably it is. So this uh, number two card, which is a yes card, is judgment. And that's a signifier of the static cross judgment. And so it's the end of a cycle. It's usually, for me, it uh, pretends uh, a, a good uh, push off. Uh, and I always like to color things in that direction. Why take a negative attitude when we're always moving forward? Um, every breath that you take is a gift. So, um, you know, why would... Uh, we color it in the best light possible, unless you just obviously uh, shouldn't. So judgment is the signifier of that card. And let's see what is the challenge to judgment. And let's get five cards right here. So difficult, but there's two again. One, two. I'm going over here. Three, four, and five. Okay these cards to start to work on that. See what is going to be the challenge to judgment. I mean, that's a strong signifier to start out with. So judgment is challenged by the Six of Cups, uh, remembering how things were. I mean, but um, you can't uh, let the past uh, keep you from moving forward. And then the base of this reading is the sun. So, you know, all the light that we needed was shown uh, on whatever issue we're dealing with. And then the past of this reading is the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups is just a lot of plenty. You know, it's wish, a wish fulfillment, uh, perhaps even uh, a wish card. Uh, the greedy merchant, all your trophies displayed. Look at all the empty bottles he's finished off already. In the sky of this reading, 
is the Wheel of Fortune. And for me, the Wheel of Fortune is always, uh, again, moving in the, the current of the direction it has to go in, in a positive direction. And so uh, that's what you've got in the sky. So it really could be anything. You could get to the bottom part of the wheel and have a difficult time coming back up, but you're still moving forward. And in the uh, outcome of this uh, right here, we have the Three of Swords, which is a broken heart. So judgment is a yes. doesn't always mean that um, it's uh, what you wished. It would be, but we have to take the uh, good uh, with the bad and keep moving forward. Okay, so now we'll move on to the third card, and that is the Four of Cups. Four of Cups. Let's get these back integrated into the deck. And then see that the Four of Cups is always wanting to hold on to that value. Uh, these uh, folks probably want to hold on to those precious memories. What's more valuable than that? And uh, that's just a beautiful scene. I love using these cards because there's so, so much thought has gone into them. But um, a couple of shuffles here. We'll do a cut and then lay out a spread to take five cards and finish this dyadic cross. It's going to be one, two, three. Again, there's two cards there. Well, I'll keep them. Three and four. And then five. So interesting. So put this here to work on that and see what's going to be revealed as a challenge to that signifier of the four of cups. Four of cups. I was so wrong about how I've been describing this. I've been describing this as the uh, six of cups or the four of pentacles. This uh, four of cups is really kind of being made an offer of something you don't really know if that's what you want. And the problem is I don't see that in this depiction here. Um, but yeah, the Four of Cups is, is usually, um, yeah, that's what the Four of Cups is. So why this beautiful scenario here? I don't know. I have to leave that up to you. But the challenge to that is the World card. So this is, um, the World card is the the end of a cycle. It's the absolute end. You finished. Things are going to start up again. But for me, it's always a positive card. So um, this Four of Cups, not wanting, so it's just telling you that, it's inevitable. You may as well take it and move forward because that's the way things are going. And then the base of this reading is the King of Wands. And the King of Wands are action, motion, power, uh, planning. And the King of Wands, being at the base of all of this, is a very good uh, base to have started a theory on. So you've got all the action, uh, the most uh, um, authority you could have in all that is plans. In the past of this reading, we've got the Queen of Swords, another good card. So the Queen of Swords is quite powerful. And the Swords are a truth and justice and planning. And um, so we've come at this with all the good positivity, uh, with the, the, the cutting edge of the sword as far as truth. It's, for me, this feels like truth. And in the sky for this reading, uh, we've got the Six of Cups, which is what I was reading this as, I believe. But this is really remembering how things were and a better time, a good time at least, if not a better time. And the likely outcome of all of this is going to be the Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands is a heavy load. I mean, she's dragging this up the hill, but this woman's got it under control. And so I would say, uh, yeah, you have to keep moving up that hill and you can get it done. doesn't mean it's going to be easy, but you have everything that you needed to get there. So that's for that card, the Four Cups. Okay, now we'll start again with this card, the number four, which is a Yes card. This is a Six of Wands, which is a solid celebration. I mean, the Six of Wands is absolutely telling us this fellow is traveling in victory uh, to display all the good that he did. And, uh, and, and so there we can see it. So it's a great big victory. It's obvious to anybody who cares to look at it. Uh, that's what this Six of Wands is for me. And uh, so we'll do two shuffles, cut the cards, put them back together, spread this out, and see if we can get five cards. One, two, three, four, oh, right there, and five. Okay. I don't know why that was so difficult. Done with these cards, so they can wait to the side, and we'll see what is going to be the challenge to that six, that great big victory, that six of wands, planning motion. The challenge to that is going to be this five of wands, which is disharmony, which we uh, just talked about this in another reading. So disharmony is the challenge to this victory. So not everyone maybe wants to hear uh, the message that this victory brought. But uh, the base of this reading is the three of cups, which are celebrations. So, I mean, we came to this with a good, strong, 
um, a basis for the victory, and uh, and that's what we got. So the uh, past of this reading then is the what of wands. Are you the page of wands? The two of wands. Oh yeah. So this is short term planning. So the two of wands is you know really just starting to scratch out maybe even in the dirt in front of you <clears throat> the beginnings of what you think you might want to do what the intentions were, what were the, the plans for this, but it, it worked out. And then the sky for this, don't let this card fool you, is the uh, Eight of Swords really feeling trapped by whatever the issue uh, became. But the likely outcome for all of it is, again, the Queen of Swords, which is a great big dose of, uh, yeah, I'm going to react to this. I'm going to show you what's the truth, what's the justice, and these are the rules we're going to go by. So, yeah, another big yes. So, I hope all of that was useful to some of you out there. That's the four card oracle you pick with the dyadic croc finish croft dyadic cross finish for today. Okay, that was the four card oracle we had to begin with. We had a yes in the uh, page of swords. Here we had another yes in the judgment card for the number two, if that's what you chose. Number three was a nice big uh, four of cups, which I misinterpreted, but they corrected in the end, and uh, still a yes. And then the um, uh, fourth card was the Six of Wands, Great Big Victory. So, I think that was great. Well, I'm Mark. This has been My Journey Through Tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now.